already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of this get too far ahead of you. So salute to every one of y'all once and foremost again. All right, so you got a couple things I'm going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to touch on like two or three subjects, and then we out of here. You know, we'll make this quick. I'll be back with my guy Showtime SP tomorrow. We got some other things and all of that and all of that. So um, New Jersey Twerk is um, obviously battling Av. And he went live and he was talking about taking Av serious. I told y'all he's going to take Av serious. If he feels like an MC is dangerous, he's going to take them serious, bring his A game. He also mentioned the most prepared battle that he ever had. I'll go ahead and leak that one early. He said the most prepared battle he ever had was Ill Will. That was one of his best performances. Throw Smack and Beasley in the trunk. This should have never dropped. That was one of his best battles that he had. And he talked about a bunch of different things. I'll play that live stream at the end. Um, I know a lot of people was asking me about the whole royalty card. I'll talk about that sometime in the future, you know what I'm saying? Um, I seen the trailer that had came out, but I just didn't like the way, like, Debo, like, I had a good relationship with Debo. Me and him is cool. I don't got no issues with him. But he, I, I talked to him before, like, a couple weeks ago. He was talking about this event that was coming out, and then he had the trailer coming out. And then he called me, like, the day of, and he talked to me, like, real quick, like, go, go, go watch the trailer right now. And I, I don't move like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, if the, if the vibe ain't genuine when you got something going on, then I'm not really going to gravitate towards it, you know what I'm saying? I know he back on TV with the Harlem Knight suit on and shit like that, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? He feeling himself. Whenever he got a vet coming around, he starts feeling himself. But me, I give the same vibe, you know what I'm saying, whether you're doing good, whether you're not doing good. So I know he, he's having his little run right now, so when he, you know, it calms down and comes down to the earthly level, I'll talk about it and promote it then. But for now, I just didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? Then I hit him back, and he never hit me back, and it was just like, nah, you know what I'm saying? You feeling yourself... You could do that. I'll recap the battles when they happen. I'll talk about the event probably next year sometime. Whatever. Cool card though. But um, there I know a lot of people's asking about the secret battles that are going down for the URL app. They obviously um updating the app, and a lot of people complained, and I voiced your concerns, and other people did too about the content on the app only being new guys and only being pay-per-views that we already paid for. And a lot of people were saying, yo, we need more. Like, what are we, what are we paying What are we paying for? You know what I mean? Why are we paying to see pay-per-views that niggas don't already pay for a hundred times already and we're not getting no new. Like, some of the new battles is cool, but let's just be for real. A lot of the joints that be coming out, like a lot of these new niggas, they not really good like that. A lot of them should be going on YouTube. They really should be heading to YouTube first so you can get the sample out the mall and then see if you want to pay for them. We're paying for people that, you know, it's not even going to be around. It is what it is. But um, they have some secret battles that's going down that's going to release straight to the app. And it's not even secret battles with, like, low names. These are, like, some top tier, some top tier names, some mid tier names. From what I heard, Snake Eyes Mike P battle, uh, JC franchise battle, um, Danny Myers is supposed to be battling. Uh, the Saga's supposed to be battling. I heard Rum Nitty's out there battling. And, I, and, more, and most notably, um, Tay Rock and Shotgun Shug Part 2. So these are like good fucking battles. These are not like no little rinky dink. We're not going to spend no money. We're not going to spend no money. These are some battles that actually cost money. And, um, you know, I don't know who won what, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to do a. I heard that this person won from somebody else. These are people's careers you're playing with. So I don't really like to do that. If I ain't watched the battle, or see it myself, I'm not gonna recap it, so I'm not talking about them, you know what I mean? When they come out, then when these joints start dropping on the app, a lot more people should start picking it up because niggas is gonna wanna see Tay Rock versus Shotgun Show, or, you know what I'm saying, Danny Myers versus somebody, or Mike P versus Snake. Niggas will wanna see them joints, so I think that that was a good thing. And I seen people complaining, like, oh, well, what about this? I'm like, yo, bro. You can't complain about the problem and then complain about a viable solution. You got to give them a chance to work. Like, you have to. Like, the only way that this thing is going to move forward and battle rap is going to continue to evolve is if you give the people in a position a chance to actually do what they do. I know a lot of people was asking about whether New Jersey Twerk or Geechee Gotti battled in a secret battle. Um, New Jersey Twerk said, in short, um, don't quote me, boy, because I ain't said shit. Well, no matter of fact, you can't quote me. Um, New Jersey Twerk said, and I quote, no, when me and Geechee battle, we gonna be a headline on the card, not a secret at battle. And Geechee Gotti responded, we will be the biggest battle rap history. We'll be the biggest in battle rap history ever, saying that when they do battle, when they do see head to head, eye to eye, that it's gonna be one of the biggest battles to ever take place. So um, 
that lets you know that. But like I said, there are some very good battles on this card. Um, Sue Surf just dropped Blood Cousins with Mozzie. Uh, the tape is actually pretty good. Um, I spoke to Surf earlier. And you know, he's focused on the music. I did ask him why is he taking Reed. It's basically a load management battle. It, it, like I said the other day, it's a load management battle. He's um, got some other battles that he's vying for, most notably Loaded Lux. But uh, you know, we want to read from a historical perspective. You know, they feel like Reed um, is a good guy to have on your resume. And if Reed brings a performance like he brought versus Chess, you know, he can, you know, make the battle a little interesting. And anything is, ha anyone has a punch's chance, you know what I'm saying? Especially if Scherf jerseys, you know what I'm saying? So um, we'll see what happens with that. But I definitely want you guys to check out this footage from New Jersey Twerk. Um, talking to a fan, basically, you know, giving him the game as far as like, yo, he's going to show up for Av. He's going to be ready. He's not going to play with him because Av is a very, very, very dangerous MC who has a lot of skill. And if you let, if you play with him, you're going to get smoked. And um, I think that's a good way of approaching it. He also stated that he doesn't write. But I've known that for a while that Twerk doesn't write because a lot of people said like he'll literally just think of words and he'll put these words together, appendicitis, amenities, uh, fucking, what he said, amoxicillin, a pterodactyl, and shit like that. Um, he doesn't write these bars down. So, uh, hopefully, he memorizes <laughs> what he has going on versus uh, Av. Um, also, this weekend coming up, you got Town Business. We'll be back to do Town Business. Final predictions tomorrow, me and my man Showtime SP. You got a uh, fucking... Battle Academy, got Tay Rock versus uh, Rex this weekend. And my boy Jack Boy Man, we gonna see Jack Boy Man again? Hopefully Jack Boy Man has some rounds and remembers his shits because I'm going to lose my fucking mind if he goes up there against Dre Dennis and gets smoked. But um, other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, I appreciate every single one of y'all for the support um, up and down and from the bottom of my heart and for the folks that all commented and um, you know, spoke about my man Showtime SP's son's birthday just passing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's that, 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 that guy, you know what I'm saying? He does amazing work. And to see where he has came in the time that I've known him, which is a little over a year, is amazing. Like, when I first met him, he was like all over the place. But now he's got coming up with ideas, he writes down bars, he's worked on his craft, and you know, he's just got where he's got. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas. You already know what it is, by the fly, I told y'all niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the fly, tell your mama I said hi. Goodbye. Now, you got to think about this, right? You think a nigga like Av, and he's battling New Jersey Twerk, who nobody plays with. You got to know he's coming at his 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 best potential. He's going to be he's going to be the best Av. Yeah, bro. So it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like as long as a nigga do what he's supposed to do, there's no smoke in him. You can beat a nigga, you can edge every round. But like I know this battle rap shit in and out. If a, if, a, if you take a nigga like Av or Rum Nitty or niggas that you know are great and put them up against somebody who they admire and think is also great, they're gonna they're gonna give it hundred and ten percent and there's no smoke in that. There's no right. smoke in that. I don't give a fuck what you do, there's no smoke in that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to this battle, and, and, and I'm going to win. I already I'm gonna, I'm going to win. Like, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going <laughs> to win. Because I just feel like on my A game, there's nobody in the world that can beat me. I'll be, I'll be really beating niggas or having debatable with niggas at 20, 10, 10 20%. Like, you know what I mean? Some shit yeah. I have cooked up on the way to the event, which I, which is not a good thing. But, you know, it's just something I've, I've become accustomed to. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, like, it's not as... It's not really intentional. It's like sometimes I sit down and I really, I really can't, I really can't really prepare because I might sit down and, and try to get it. And if I have time to prepare, I, I won't take advantage of it. And then like last minute, it's like, oh, right, well, you know, you got to get it done. So that's what I've been doing. But this one, this is a little different. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come with it. But I'm gonna win. But I know Av, he gonna get that shit off, man. He gonna do his, he gonna do his numbers. Yeah. Yo, I got a question. What's up, bro? Did you come up with your jump last second versus JC? Nah, not the um, just the first round. I had a um, I had a first and a second. I didn't have a third, so I came up with the third last minute. But I replaced the I replaced the third with the first. So the first round that I spit was actually the last thing I came up with. 
So the day before, like the night before and some of the day of, I prepared. But I had two rounds done for GC already. The only only round I didn't do was my, my first. It was the only round I, I was ill pre prepared for. And that, that's it. The most I've been prepared on URL thus far is obviously ill with or clean paper. Yeah. Those so are the most I've been prepared. So, like, you write your job. And you just study, or like you just memorize it. Like as soon as you write, I don't, I don't, I don't write, I don't write my raps down. I don't write them down at all. The only time I write anything, if it, like if it's super last minute, I write like one word. Like if I was to say something like uh, K Fire and Lane Bryant, like you know shit like that, I write down. If I got a four bar setup, I write down one word that will cause me to remember the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But as far as like completely writing out bars, I, I don't do that. I, I think it's, I think that shit is wild difficult. Like it's a process to go through because it's like you gotta, for one, you gotta write shit down. That shit takes forever writing shit down. Then for two, you gotta look at it. I, I'm a performer. You know I mean I can't, I can't just look at my paper and practice my shit. I can't do that. So basically, you freestyle. Especially to just shit. get on stage. Now nah, I don't freestyle. I don't freestyle. But 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 I just come up with my material and remember it in my head. Cool. But that's it, bro. I appreciate you though, my nigga. I'm gonna get with you, you heard? All right, bro. Yo, uh, stay trying.